Ready to love season three or four, whatever season Jason and Liz was on. I'm sure by now you've heard the big bombshell of the day. Honey, I was over in Kamisha's reviews. This is where I was in the comments hollering, okay? Girl, when I heard the bomb, I emailed Kamisha. I said, girl, did you hear this? She said, girl, I'm going live. You want to come up? I can't come, girl. You know I'm going to be at work. Honey, 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 baby boo. So you heard allegedly, allegedly, alleged. This is all alleged. Allegedly that allegedly Jason allegedly has allegedly a allegedly baby allegedly on allegedly the allegedly way allegedly and the baby mama is about she's about ready to drop the baby or anytime so maybe they get a, a christmas bundle okay and so i should have got me some ice cream because i want to take this really slow but i'm tired girl i'm tired i'm tired we'll go to bed <laughs> but um I, i'm gonna take this real slow because when i told y'all Jason and Liz wasn't going to work out that it was fake. Y'all dragged me. I still have patches on my behind. Oh, y'all dragged me on the YouTube stream. But you know what? You know what? You know what? It's Thanksgiving. I'm just going to forgive all, you know, by you going over to Amazon and pick up, pick up the 23 times. So, guys, you might meet because I told y'all they wasn't no good mad thing or get no married or nothing like that. Okay. So, first of all, thank you for your love and support for those of you who picked up my books on Amazon. And the reason, if you want to be in the know, like I'm in the know, and when you see these men, you recognize these men and you can call them out, you need to go over there and pick this book up, honey, so that you can be in the know and on the know. Thanksgiving book, Moments of Gratitude, The Naked Wife is Villain in Christ's Eye. Okay, 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 fine, fine, fine. Okay, so allegedly the big news is allegedly Liz and Jason broke up because she has a baby. He has a baby on the way. So now, remember I did the video about her blocking commission's review and allegedly me. Initially, when I checked, I wasn't blocked. Now I checked today and I was blocked. So she did block me. And remember, she did the video of her dodging bullets with the Matrix and stuff. And so she was claiming she was dodging bullets. But Liz, I was telling you that you and Jason did not make a good couple. Now, I'm not going to go too back and repeat a lot of what I said because I've already been telling y'all this all this season. And y'all was hating on me and calling me a hater and dragging me in the YouTube streets and all these pictures. And I'm like, girl, that's your that's your, that's your nephew, honey. She giving me auntie's vibe. I told y'all she was giving me mommy vibe. He don't give her some white flower. The only thing he's giving to his stepmother and his mama and now to the girl. I bet you he gave the baby mama some red rosa. Now, I was reading on the Facebook streets and the people was saying, poor Jason, been pimped up so long from trying to be celibate. The poor girl eggs didn't stand to chair. <laughs> girl, they said the girl stand a chance, but, 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 uh-uh. That's that true because Kamisha Reviews had already told us earlier this year in the summer that allegedly Liz, allegedly, and allegedly Jason, allegedly done knock the boots, allegedly. Girl, you got to go over to Kamisha's review. She got all the dirt and the tea over there. So allegedly, according to Kamisha's review, allegedly the word on the street was that Liz and Jason had done the do and Liz was trying to blackmail him with the, with the kitties. <laughs> That's not why I'm here. That's not why I'm here. That is not what I'm here. I was in Kamisha's review. Holler it today. <laughs> Kamisha, we got to do a live about this, girl. No, no time soon, girl. You know I got NaNoWriMo. NaNoWriMo update. I have finally crossed the tw the 20,000 threshold. Let me give you my note, my new numbers. I have my numbers right here in my book. As of earlier today, I was at 424. And let's see, right now I'm at four. Oh, child, please only did like a hundred more words. Ah! <laughs> I'm tired, y'all don't understand. As I four to four, so now I'm at 4,365 minus 4,240. And so I did an additional 125. And so 125 plus 551. My total today is 667, 67, 
667. So that brings my total to 19,701. 19,701 um, plus 667 gives me a total of 20,368. 20,368 divided by nine days. 20,368 divided by nine. My daily total is, I'm hitting it right, right on it. I got to do better. 2,263. So my, uh, so far today, I've only did six, 667 words. I'm not doing any more. I am exhausted. I'm tired. My brain is hurting. <laughs> And so my daily balance, my average daily is now 260, 226, 2,263 words per day. And if I want to be done the Wednesday by Thanksgiving, I need to do 2,100 words per day. So I'm right on the cup. Okay, Thursday's a holiday for me, so I'll be able to knock some words out and I'll probably make up for me being tired today. But I, I don't think I'm going to do any more words for the rest of the night. I think I'm just going to relax and lay down and just rest my head. Okay, back to Liz and, and Jason. What I want to talk about is I feel sorry for Liz. I, 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 I feel sorry for Liz. And I know Liz don't like me because she don't know the truth. But Liz, girl, I'm your sister. Okay, girl, I know what you're going through. I feel really sorry for Liz because Liz is a typical church girl. I used to be Liz. I used to be the typical church girl. And the typical church girl, they think they know what they're doing, but you really don't. And so you keep doing the same thing and you keep getting the same result. How many of you know that at 40 years old, you are too old to be dodging some freaking bullets from a 30-something-year-old boy? But because Liz did not date differently, and I'm wearing my Try Me Not t-shirt, it's available on Etsy, pick up yours today. Because she was dating the same way, you're still missing, uh, miss, uh, uh, dodging bullets at 40 years old, okay? Still meeting a man and putting all your eggs in. And one of, what I want to talk about is, is, you know, some people talk about I'm called to celibacy. Where in which Bible did you read that? <laughs> Celibacy is not a calling, beloved. It's not a calling. You know why it's not a calling? Don't tell me God wants you to sin and fornicate and then go be celibate. Uh-uh. God's will is for us to remain virgins until we get married. That's not happening today. In today's day, it ain't happening. All have sinned and come short of the glory. Okay, but the apostle, uh, it was Peter or, or John, says uh it was john the apostle john said but Anasa, we have an advocate uh with the father the man christ jesus who makes intercession for us day and night and the bible says that the enemy goes before god the devil goes before god and accuse the brethren day and night so all of us have sinned so don't tell me now that we have repented and we're, we're we're abstaining from sex that means it's a calling because when does the calling end i'm called to be a teacher when do i get to not be a teacher again i don't get to not to be a teacher the day i stop being a teacher is when i make the transition from earth to heaven because the bible says in ephesians chapter 4 that he given some apostle prophets pastors evangel apostle prophets evangelists pastors and teachers for the perfecting of the saints and the saints will not be perfected until the Lord Jesus Christ returns. And I will not stop teaching or have the anointing on me to teach until the Lord returns. So please stop, church girls, talking about this celibacy thing is a calling. It is not a calling. It is a choice. God, God only, only uh, approval of sex is in a marriage between one man and one woman. That is God's, get the Bible. I'm going to get all my Bibles. God, come on somebody. God's only approval of sex is in marriage between one man and one woman, 
according to the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Now, I know, you know, there may be some other heaven out there. There may be some other God out there, but I'm just talking about the God, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. When we fall, not if we fall, when we fall, like I said, we have an advocate, the Lord Jesus Christ, make intercession for us. And so, ladies, especially Christian women, we get on this journey of celibacy. And we're walking on our path and we want to get married. And we have not done the necessary work to attract someone on the path. What we do is we see Pookie Ray Ray Tyrone over there living their life and we drag them on our path and say, I want you to walk this journey with me. Now, I told y'all Liz should not have been leading with her being celibate. And when she asked Jason, what did I say? Go back and watch a video and y'all attack me for, oh, when a man love you, he'll do what he needs to do because he love you. Okay, so let me ask you something. If he's doing it because he loves you, what's going to happen when he doesn't love you anymore? He don't like you. Y'all break up. Y'all fall apart because he wasn't doing it for himself. He didn't re he didn't think this is something I need to do for me. I'm doing it because I want to have you. It's the same thing with trying to get these men to come to the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh-uh. He should come because he knows, accepted that he is a sinner in need of a savior. And I need to confess with my mouth, the Lord Jesus Christ, believe in my heart, God raised him from the dead and I shall be saved. You want him to make that decision for Jesus because that's what he believes. Not because he's doing it trying to attract you. Because when a man gets on your journey with you because he's trying to attract you, you're the one that's going to have to keep him on the journey and on the path. And then you're going to become a, a, a nag. He is going to resent you. And very, very, very soon after, he will fall off the path because that's not his calling. That's not what he's supposed to do. He is not doing it of his own free will. You are forcing him to do it. And in my new book, in my new book, I'm not saying this is Liz. One of the ladies I will be talking about is the witch. How many of y'all know there are witches in the churches? Okay, y'all married women, you, some of y'all are witches. Because y'all trying to overwrite your husband's rights. But anyways, girl, you got to buy the book, okay? And so with us Christian women, we need to be very mindful and very careful that we are not trying to get men to come on the path, our path. Because everybody has a path to walk on. This is why it is important for you to choose a husband that's on the path with you. Okay? I chose a husband who was born again. I'm born again. I'm a tither. I want somebody that's a tither. I want somebody that believes he's a tither. I want to be provided for. I, he believes in providing. Okay? Ain't no cookie before you put the ringy on the dinghy. My daddy say no, no ringy, no dinghy. Okay? And so Liz is the typical church girl who continues to do the same thing over and 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 over again. And it has not occurred to her or the typical church girl that, wait a minute, this is not working. Something's got to give, something's got to change. And like my daddy said, and I said in that other video, God continued to give you the same test until you pass it. So the reason why Liz continued to get this test, get with these men three months and then you're dodging bullets is because she has not realized it's a test yet. She don't need to be jumping in a relationship with no man. You should not be all the way in. Now, granted, for the show, for the show, stay to get the money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you want to get the money? Absolutely. And you can see it right here. You see how Jason has his foot? Stay away from me. The, all this time, child, the baby mama was pregnant. And so when, when nephew Tommy asked them, well, when is he going to put a ring on it? Jason, look at her. And she answered, well, you know, in the stages of just getting to know each other even more. And I'm like, well, y'all been getting to know each other for about a year now. When is he going to put a ring on it? Girl, he ain't putting no ring on it. Jason was putting his ding-a-ling in somebody else's kitty 
unprotected at that and made a whole other human being girl. I don't know, right? I'm just saying, I mean, I mean, those are two different steps. You know, you don't you don't put the dingling in the kitty, girl, but then you put the dingling in the kitty without protection, girl. That's a, uh, 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 uh. and I wonder, do you think he did this trying to get away from Liz? Mm, anyways, I'm tired. I'm going to be in time. Let me know what you think. Watch my video I just did. Do you think Merla will say yes on decision day? I absolutely love you. I adore you. I'm tired. I'm going to bed. I'm going to rest my head and my brain. And I will talk to you later. All right? Love you. Let me know what you think. Remember to show me love. Poor Liz. I feel so sorry. Liz, you could call me, girl. You could call me, Liz. No, nope. all has forgiven, girl. I, girl, I love you. I know, I know, I know your problem. And I know exactly what you need to do, girl. But you got to call me, okay? Unblock me and call me. <laughs> I love y'all. Bye.